All right, so I'm gonna do something I don't usually do here. Uh, I'm introing in a very odd spot. It is 23 to 19. Here's what has happened this game. I don't want to replay it because I feel like that'd be disingenuous for the franchise. I was recording. If you guys can't tell, I'm recording from the Elgato program, so the quality should be better. Basically, uh, we'll intro it now. Um, no, we won't. We'll wait till after the game. So, these are the stats up to this point. If you see the scoring summary, um, and it looks terrible. They have a weird drop shadow on all of it, but this is what happened. I will check the replay for the highlights at the end of the game for some of them. But basically, we, we came out to such a hot start, then we... You know, Kyle Lilletta was 9 for 9 for like 170 yards and a couple touchdowns and Saquon Barkley's been doing well and then we really couldn't score and Dallas came back and then I said all we need here is for Saquon Barkley to not fumble and of course the next play Saquon Barkley fumbles it is now 23 to 19 our third turnover of the game one being a blocked punt the other of course being Oh, everything is super bright. I gotta change some settings real quick. Is that better? I don't know if it's better. That looks... Why is this so weird? My screen looks insane right now. He was down. That's not gonna count. I'm looking at my Elgato screen, and it doesn't quite look at, like what your screen does. I know this is a super, really, really odd start to Giants franchise here. What is going on? I have no clue what's happening. <laughs> anyway, this is a super odd start to Giants franchise. I wish it wasn't this way. I banged on my desk after the fumble, and everything crashed, essentially. Um, my computer, blue screen, had to restart. I'm not sure if the two incidents are related. They might be. But that's a user pick. Easy reads, green eggs and ham. BJ Goodson ends the game here in Arlington. All right. So that's one of the strangest ever starts to Giants franchise you will ever see. It was just so, so weird. Here's what was going on. You guys heard what happened. Basically, you know, everything screwed up. I didn't want to restart. Here we are. We managed to win. I'm going to show you guys the stats. We'll see some big plays so it doesn't feel like you guys are robbed. And we're going to play another game this episode. Uh, I will address a couple of things that I addressed in the intro before we play the Cowboys here, which was... Uh, I, you know, I appreciate all the love on the series. It's been so awesome to go down in the comment section. You guys, you know, I drop what I'm doing every time a Giants franchise episode comes out. I love the series so much. It's so awesome, fun, whatever. I appreciate that so much, guys. It makes me more motivated when I see the likes are up and I see the comments are up to just, you know, pump out Giants franchise for you guys. That's issue number one. Issue number two is a lot of people don't like when I play the moments. They like the full games. But I think for the sake of the series and the progression throughout the series... So, you know, we don't just get through maybe one or two seasons or three seasons. We've been progressing actually really quickly. Uh, but for the sake of the series and keep things fresh, I am going to be playing the moments when we get two games in an episode. And sometimes they're insignificant games. I just think it's it's better that way. So we will have a ton of full games. It's probably going to be like 10 plus full games in a, a season, you know, not including the playoffs. But for the sake of the series, I want to do keep playing the moments when we get two games in an episode. I think it's just for the best. Also, a lot of people want to be my head coach in the comments section. And you be, oh, at, at 1045, you missed Odell. Why don't we? I don't give a fuck. Do you understand? I don't come close to caring. I don't give a shit at all. I know I'm not your typical YouTuber, if you will, where, you know, like, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys how it is. I don't need the coaches in the comments section. I don't fucking care if I missed a receiver. It's, it's, it's a video game series. I mean, shit happens in real life all the time. Quarterbacks miss receivers. You, you know, you, bad throws happen. You don't make the correct read all the time. It's all right. I'm not perfect. I don't... You saying the timestamp at the comments section later, what am I going to do with that information? Am I going to go back and watch the game and study film and see the mistakes I made? Shut up. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> anyway, though, this was a fantastic game. You guys would have been proud. All you coaches in the comments section would have been so proud. I started off 9 for 9 with Kyle Lilletta. I believe it was two touchdowns and 174 yards. So, yeah, I slowed down quite a bit in the second half. Ended up throwing an interception. It was not a great one. Dak Prescott threw three interceptions. Two of those were user picks. One by Ellis Offord. It was a great one. We'll hopefully see that. And then BJ Goodson there at the end of the game, you guys saw. And Morris Dubose actually got one. As Dak Prescott was really hard to stop this game. And so was Ezekiel Elliott. He only averaged 3.7 yards per carry. We stopped him in the backfield a lot in the first quarter. And then he took off. 
Saquon had a huge fumble at the end of the game that almost killed us, as you guys saw. Well, you didn't see the fumble, but you saw it, it almost killed us. Saquon, other than that, was perfect. Vanilla Vic with one carry, 14 yards. Odell went off. Eight catches, 158, and a touchdown. Evan Ingram also had a touchdown. Huge, huge play to start the game. And then we didn't really have anything else going on. As far as sacks goes, J.W. Hilton at right guard was a disaster. And then Eric Faison let up more than what it says there. Demarcus Lawrence was all over us. He had two sacks. David Irving with two. One for Tyrone Crawford. Tackles for loss. Lorenzo Carter was sick. O.V. was sick. We haven't really gotten the pressure. As you see, zero sacks here. We allowed five. The pass blocking of the Dallas O-line was just too good. B.J. Goodson with a pick. Ellis Offert. And, of course, Morris Dubose. Sean Lee also picked me off. That one was just, it was a bad decision as Jalen Smith forced a fumble. Uh, he also had a recovery as well as Nick Ballour did. I don't remember what that situation was. I don't know who fumbled there. Might have been Kyle Aletta. Not 100% sure. Hopefully we can view the highlights because we had some nice plays here. So apparently Nat Gear recovered a fumble. That was not a play that actually happened. Uh, this was a huge play to start the game to Odell. We can't see it. Are there any highlights here? Oh, there aren't going to be any highlights. That's really unfortunate. The reason that there are not highlights is because I backed out of the game. I was going to restart because, of course, you guys didn't get to see any of it. That's really unfortunate. Um, and you guys saw all the rest. So when I was going to restart, I, you know, it came back into it. So I guess it deleted all the highlights, which does really suck. That's, that's super unfortunate, but... We did win the game. I know this is a really, really odd episode. We're going to get a full game in this episode as well. But, um, yeah, sorry for this. But I, I felt like it was such a good game. And I didn't want to replay the game for the sake of the series. So, it's unfortunate. But it is what it is. I wish it hadn't happened. But here we are. Before we played the Cowboys game, I also talked about um, guys that might not be returning to the team in the offseason. One of those actually being BJ Goodson. He's an impending free agent, and I'm not really sure where he fits into the team just yet. I haven't figured it out. Also, and you guys can't see it on your screen. It's just on mine. I might have to restart my PS4 here in a minute. My screen on my actual monitor is so bright and saturated, it's impossible to look at. It's like, it's really uncomfortable to my eyes. But it looks great on my Elgato screen. So I talked about some of the players we scouted. I talked about the impending free agents being Sterling Shepard, being BJ Goodson are some of the top ones. I think Jarrell Adams also might have been here. He's not really as important. Riley Dixon is here. Yeah, Jarrell Adams, Andrew Adams, Chad Wheeler, Ethan Cooper. So the top three guys, I don't really know how I feel about them other than Sterling Shepard. He absolutely will be re-signed at some point. BJ Goodson, I don't know. He has quick development, but he hasn't really de been developing that quickly. I'm not sure if we want to look for a better option in free agency. Riley Dixon has been an okay punter, nothing crazy. We're not going to handle any of that right now. I've really talked for a long time here, and we're going to play the Redskins again after we do a little bit of scouting. So I talked about some of the linebackers that we scouted for maybe a potential replacement to BJ Goodson because I talked about all of the positions on our linebacking core. None of them are really solid set and stone starters for the future. So we're looking at a bunch of guys. We we're talking about maybe switching back to a 3-4 at some point. So a lot of stuff is really up in the air about what we're going to end up doing. So bear with me. I know this has been a lot of talking. I know this is not everybody's favorite part of the series. A lot of people do like it, but a lot of people also like, hey, play the games, get some gameplay. And that gameplay was an awesome one. It would have been one of my favorite games on the entire channel. And unfortunately, as you saw, uh, I couldn't record because I have vicious anger issues, apparently. And I smashed my desk multiple times and it screwed with the computer a usb might have come unplugged and then my computer blue screened so that does suck but the team's in a good spot but i you know free safety not set in stone all the linebacker spots not set in stone cornerback janoris jenkins is regressing damon harrison is regressing ov might regress at the end of the season and then we have nat DeGear at cornerback and morris dubose morris dubose is a beast but I, you know he's not that much of a beast he's playing up with a lot of confidence right now so his zone coverage is up after we upgraded that but, I mean, 83 zone coverage does not get the job done. And then man coverage is so bad in-game. It's really, really frustrating. Antoine Todd has an upgrade point. What do we want to spend that on? I mean, zone coverage could be better. He's good. He's just not quite fast enough. I think we're going to go into coverage linebacker here. 
Pass covers is that we zone man and tackling. Not a bad combo as he goes up a little bit overall. Plus two to man, plus one to strength, tackling, and then zone as well. So he is getting better by the day. He's a higher overall outside linebacker. Maybe he's going to take the place of Ellis Offered. I don't know, man. We're in such a weird spot with a lot of guys. All right, so we're back, and it has been actually quite a while. And my screen is now not overpoweringly bright. We are 6-2 on the year, playing the 4-3-1 Washington Redskins, both 83 overall. And if you recall, to last episode that we played the Redskins, wasn't exactly last, like a couple episodes ago, but the last episode in which we played the Washington Redskins, Alex Smith was super annoying. And the Redskins have Khalil Mack. I forgot about this. Should be a fun one, as we have a less than talented right tackle. All right, I hate the Redskins. I hate playing Alex Smith. But I do like kicking off to start games. The unfortunate part of this is that we have to kick off to the Redskins and eventually Alex Smith, who will check down the entire field. Also, of note, I didn't show it, Howard Russell is a new starting return man for the New York Giants. Tracy Wallace was his name. I finally learned it. it is gone. He's terrible. Howard Russell hopefully lights up the scene. But let's shut down Alex Smith. I think I'm definitely going to start using the defensive line a lot more. Uh, I know I'm a good user. User pick, easy reads, the rainbow fish, BJ Goodson. It's a user pick. I know I'm a decent user. But uh, I think we can generate a lot of pressure and it'd be good for us. Let's go, BJ. That's what I say to all of your moms. Yeah, aggressive as ever. I I'm worrying too much about Khalil Mack and not enough about uh, actually scoring the football in the end zone but I will take the three nothing lead facing another really good left tackle today and that's got to be a pick it's not Lorenzo Carter working on those coverage skills not quite there yet would love to see him jump that route let's right, play action oh how is that so open man Jamison Crowder takes a big hit from Landon Collins just wide open in the cover, too. You got to make the play in this Nat gear interception. Let's go. The rookie out of BYU comes down with it. Jamison Crowder, the intended receiver on the play, but we get the football back. Let's actually score a touchdown this time. And Kerrigan and Khalil Mack both coming off that right side of your screen. We're going to run it to the opposite side. Cut up with Saquon Barkley. Try the spin move. Not too bad. I'll take a pretty big gain. Saquon's just been unstoppable as of late. It's awesome to see. Let's play action. That's open. Evan Ingram had to throw it super quick there. He's going to step out of bounds. More like forced out. We'll take the first down. We averaged 40 yards at this. I did this in the Cowboys game, actually. I ran this play, and I faded Evan Ingram. I love fading the tight end out of these sorts of plays. Ah, oh, I, I waited way too long. Pick up the ball, Eric. Khalil Mack, I guess, brings us down. I waited way too long for something to develop. I got to get rid of it. There's Sterling Shepard. Get to the first down. Not quite. Down to the 31. That just sucks. Taking a sack is so ugh, detrimental to a drive. And I don't think I'm even going to move the arc. Wind is pushing 10 miles to the right. I'm just going to kick maybe a little bit to the right. And the wind is going to do all the work for me. 6-0. New York Giants. Kind of an odd score. But uh, we're playing good defense for the most part. A couple of turnovers already here in the first quarter. And we just haven't been able to capitalize offensively. That front seven is really tough with Zatch Brown. I know it pisses people off so much when I say that. Like, oh, well, only people named Zatch. Of course, if it was a K, it would be Zach, as we all know. I don't know how we can go through multiple games without getting a sack. It's so annoying because we have the pass rushers to actually make something happen. And we just don't. We just don't get pressure. It's got to be the all Madden sliders, but I don't know. I don't know how I can have two pass rushers on both ends with power move, like, near 90. And we don't get any sacks the entire game. No one gets natural pressure unless they're coming after me. That is a play action. Huge hit from Landon Collins. They're never going to drop the ball because they don't on all Madden. They just don't. Get after Alex Smith! Finally, I got to use the defensive line to make it happen. But Roman Pugh, for the first time in I'm not sure how many weeks, gets a sack. Alex Smith loves to check down. 
Honestly, probably not the worst call here. They're going to go uh, kick the field goal, only be down by three. It's not the worst, especially when our offense is not exactly moving the ball too well. All right, Howard Russell. First return here as their starting returner. Yes to the 27, electric. It's... Oh, it is a blitz. The reason I did not try to get the ball off quickly, I'm going to show you. This is frustrating to me. I blocked the running back. Watch this. Did you just fucking turn to the right? He has no idea. Inside the head of a one Saquon Barkley. Ah, blocking. Uh, you just got to look good. Ah, uh, fucking Khalil Mack just walked right by you. This is all Madden. This, I mean, the, the blocking is just, it's non existent. How am I gonna, I'm gonna I'm block the running back? He doesn't block. More great check downs from Alex Smith. That was a pass for like one yard, maybe. They're gonna tie up the game, though. It's gonna be six to six as long as this goes through the uprights, which it does. Okay. There's Odell. It's a good throw from Laletta. Go, Odell. Burns Norman. Get real, Josh. Finally, some positive yardage. Third and one. We could actually probably run the ball in this. It's not a great run. I don't like this. It looks like a halfback slam or something like that. Halfback plunge. It's not a very good run. But the blocking's pretty good. I didn't I didn't spin to the right there. It's frustrating. Spin to the left wouldn't have done much anyway. I didn't I didn't I didn't mean to press that button. So yeah, it's my fault. I already know the comments are actually like, ah, you fucking suck. Uh, actually, you should have... Uh, I fucking... Whatever. I try to throw to X, right? And uh, of course, lifetime Xbox player, I tap square instead. Because that's where the X, bot the X button is on the Xbox controller. So even though the touch pass to Evan Ingram would have been the perfect decision... And the only open thing on the field, I fucking touch pass it in a triple coverage because I, I'm never gonna get used to the PS4. I'm never going to. I, I'm always gonna make mistakes. You can't play a console for ten plus years where X is a thing in that spot, and then switch to PS4 and then you know never press the wrong button. It's, it's so frustrating though. Tackle, wrap up. Oof. That's mine, idiot. User pick, easy reads, good night, Moon. We got the football back. BJ Goodson, two picks in the first half. Keep throwing at me. All right, I need Odell to just get open here. I mean, just, just look at the pressure I have to deal with, dude. They're sending like, what, 20? All right, can I kick this field goal, please? All right, it is good. Nine to six. It's been a brutal game so far. Eight. 69, nice, whatever. Fucking ugh. start playing a lot of hard flats with the corners. And I know they're gonna streak and beat me that way just because the CPU always knows what your weakness is. They always do. I'm telling you, you haven't seen a streak the entire game pretty much. And now that I play hard flats, the CPU is gonna throw streaks that just, just get in there. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, they, they always know when you run hard flats. Every time. They just know because, obviously, it's the CPU. You're inputting the information. They always know. Third and eight. I mean, uh, they're still probably going to uh, just check down. I told you. I told you they're going to throw the streak. They always know, man. Hey, the CPU cheats so hard. I've never seen a streak the entire game. Whenever I'm in cloud flats, they... It, oh my god. I, I really, I, I know I say I hate to complain the entire game and I do anyway. Doesn't mean I like it, but there's so much to complain about. They, this, they cheat, man. Like, how is that not a sack? I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's, it's so unfair. I'm not gonna last the entire year playing this fucking game. It's just, I just won't be able to. All 
I, it's just perfect. And then he, he fights the laws of physics to kind of come backwards against momentum to stay in bounds and catch the touchdown over me. I'm about to lose my mind. I'm going to take a shot probably to Adele here. Third and seven. Worst case scenario, we, you know, I, I'm not even sure what worst case scenario would be. Oh, that would be a fumble. All right, fourth and 15 after the sack where I had no time to throw because this defensive line is uh, maybe the best I've ever faced. I'm just going to try and, and maybe go quick. I just, need a, I just need one block. Please, somebody block. All right, Howard Russell. Oh, did he beat him? He burned. It's a great catch. Doesn't matter for much, though. Just another game for Kyle Oletta where, I, I mean, I have these so often where I feel like we have a decent number of yards, no touchdowns, and a couple of picks. It just sucks. Come on, Kyle. There it is. That's a money play. Evan Ingram down at the one. How are we going to not capitalize here? I can't wait to find out. We're going to run to the right side. Saquon Barkley, touchdown. All right. And uh, we are going to go up in the game for the first time in not so long. It hasn't, it hasn't been a ton of time. It's going to be 16 to 13, hopefully. And it is. Defense has got to step up. Oh, fumble. Ball's loose. Pick it up. Avery Moss forces the fumble. Who wears number 40? I don't even have a clue. Odell on the quick slant. He should be open. He is. Odell Beckham Jr. Touchdown. Let's go, baby. All right. We're going to extend the lead. That's a huge special teams play by Avery Moss. Huge special teams play. Oh, I've missed this, maybe. Yikes. That's a good sack. Lorenzo Carter. Getting after Alex Smith. Coming in basically unblocked. I'll send some heat sometimes. That's mine. Use your pick. Number three of the game. Green eggs and ham. Easy reads. BJ Goodson with the interception. Again, his third of the game. Keep throwing at me, Alex Smith. It's the only reason why we're up right now. Come on, Saquon. Lower the shoulder. Good run. This run will not be open. We're going to go ahead and audible here. Oslanto Dell out Sterling. See who gets open if anybody does. Dude, what, do I, what do you want me to say? Nothing gets open and we turn over the ball. Because we get uh, we get strip sacked. I can't run against that front. It'd be... Man. The CPU cheats. The CPU cheats so hard. Good stop by Ellis Offord. Man, I mean we can we can barely catch a break here. It's tough, but I'm I'm trying, guys. I, I know it's whatever. This is this is a frustrating game. Let's go Howard Russell. Turn up field. Big game. 20 yards. Alright, we're we're rebounding a little bit. Kyle will let it see the interception total is gonna be sky high. Oh my god, Odell Beckham Jr., what a catch. That's a very dangerous throw. I probably should not have made it. But we completed it. I, I didn't really want to check down. I hate checking down. I think it's boring. But when you got a guy like Odell, sometimes you just got to throw it up. It's the slowest cut I've ever seen. That's open. Kyle Laletta on the run with an absolute dime. Oh, oh, wait. I don't understand how that ball is not there. Quick pass. Outrun him, Sterling. Can't quite. So it is going to be fourth and three from the four. We're going to settle for the field goal. We should have had a touchdown, but Kyle Laletta couldn't hit the broad side of a barn on the run. It just, just can't happen. 26-13 as we're beginning to pull away here in the third quarter. 
Third and nine. We're going to use her Roman Pugh here. Hopefully, don't go over the middle. Otherwise, B.J. Goodson will probably be exposed. Lorenzo Carter. I mean, you might have put, well put him in the same category. I need pressure. I need pressure. Sack by Olivier Vernon. Thank you. Thank you. Olivier Vernon gets to the quarterback. His fifth sack on the season. Maybe save the dance moves for the dance floor. Those were putrid. We're going to go one-on-one -on -one for Odell. Oh, what a catch. Odell Beckham Jr. to midfield. Absolutely bailing us out of that situation. You guys like how Sterling Shepard, who was my primary read on that route, on the slant, just didn't even really run it. It was terrible. Let's go. Give me a block. Good block. Saquon Barkley down the sideline. I thought we could outrun him. That was such a weird angle taken by the safety. Huge gain from Saquon Barkley, who's having just another great game. And I'm not even on aggressive uh, blocking here, which I should start doing that. I think it's just so effective. And I love to slant Odell in these circumstances. Let's look for one of the slants quick. There's Odell. Touchdown. Let's see a team celebration. We don't see many of those. Maybe for a good reason. Third and two. Get after Alex Smith. That's got to be a pick. If that would have been caught off the rainbow flick, I would have lost my mind. I know we're up 34 to 13. I would be an insane coach. Because we'd be up by a ton. I'd still be screaming at the players. Fourth and two. Shed, shed, shed. And you're going to carry him forward for the first down. All right. Fourth and one. Are they going to run the ball here? Could be an inside zone. Just try to get pressure any way we can. Get in the backfield. It's not going to be a run. Let's say go for a bold QB draw here. Which they wouldn't. It's not in this playbook. That's a quick pass. Completed. Paul Richardson is hit and holds on. Another check down. That's a great decision by Alex Smith. Now it's only 4th and 17 instead of 4th and 22. It's a great, great call. Here we go. 4th and 17. Game essentially on the line. And that's picked off by Lorenzo Carter. He's 6'5". Great speed. Can't get it over him. Finally, somebody makes a play. You love to see it. And it, I mean, the X tackle battle comes up again and I press square. I don't know. I'm never going to be able to have that reprogram out of my head. It, it feels like. Because <laughs> every time it presses up or it comes up, I press X or square or whatever it is. I'm, I'm missed, you know, clicking. Saquon Barkley. Whenever X comes up, I press square instinctively. Unless I'm really thinking about it. I mean, it's tough. Khalil Mack. He, he's living in the backfield. Just to, nobody blocks him on the dive. I don't I don't get it. I'm going to have to punt the ball back. We don't get the goal. But maybe this will be a great punt. Silver lining. It's not a terrible one. Stay in. Oh, perfect. Down at the three. What a punt. Who doesn't love silver lining? We're going to be running a lot of man this half. We'll just see how it goes. Or I say this half. As it's picked off by Janoris Jenkins. This quarter. That's a great block, Obi Melifon. Maybe we pick him up. Is that seven picks for Alex Smith? This has been a weird game. And touchdown, Odell Beckham Jr. Why not run up this score against a division rival? I'm all for it. Boost Kyla let his stats a little bit from the game because it was kind of a rough one. It was it was a weird one, but we made our weekly our weekly goal with that, so I'll take it. 41 to 13. Washington's gonna have 28 seconds to score a whole lot of points. Something tells me they don't have it in them. Good sack. Olivier Vernon brings him down. His second of the game. Wow, we've actually. I've been complaining a lot about the defense, but they played pretty well. They forced a ton of turnovers, maybe the most of the series. I would say there's no way it's not. It's been so many. 17 seconds. I'm not sure why they're bothering to call a timeout. It's just not possible. They're still going to throw a short call a timeout. 12 seconds. Let's see how this game ends. 
They're going to have one final shot at the end zone here. And there it is. Let's see who comes down with it. Nobody. It's out of the back of the end zone. So, your final here is uh, whatever it was. Can we not have the EA Sports logo over the screen? Yeah, I get who makes the game. This is the biggest, most annoying watermark ever. Kyle Aletta. 19 for 30. Three touchdowns, two interceptions. Alex Smith threw six picks. Bunch of those users. Saquon Barkley had a pretty good game. Managed to get into the end zone. 130 plus yards rushing. Odell, eight catches in back-to-back -back weeks. 160 yards and three touchdowns. Wow, we really kept going to him. We kept going to the well. But Odell's a beast, so why not? Blocking. Eric Faison was dominated by Khalil Mack, as we expected he would be. Tackles for loss. Khalil Mack was a beast. Damon Harrison was in there. Olivier Vernon with two sacks. We also had a sack for Lorenzo Carter and Roman Pugh. Interceptions. Three for BJ Goodson. One for Nat DeGear. One for Lorenzo Carter. One for Janoris Jenkins. And then forced fumbles. Avery Moss forced one. And then the rest of the three were... Uh, all Washington Redskins they only recovered one and then no defensive touchdowns so in one of the strangest Giants franchise episodes ever as we have a ton of upgrades we're going to use that probably in the next episode so we're going to outro here thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one take it easy